Hi, my name's Jim. Um, Hi, Jim. Marvellous, nice to meet you. Um, do you know anything about uh, psychometry? Not a lot. Not, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Well, what psychometry is, psychometry is the power that people have to hold on to an object and able to pick things up from it. Let's say feelings or uh, information from that object. What I've got here, I've got a group of objects um, that uh, all have a connection with each other and uh, we'll come back to those in just a second. In this box I have 60 photographs of World War I servicemen. Now all these servicemen served in the Great War and unfortunately they were all killed in the Great War. On the back of each one of these photographs you'll see that each serviceman's name, rank, regiment, date of birth, birthplace, service number, status and the personal objects that belonged to him when he was either reported missing in action or killed in action. All that information is on the back and all 60 are different. What I'd like you to do is just, just rifle through them and place one on the front, anyone, you know, anyone that you feel like, and concentrate on that information. When you've, uh, when you've found one, if you could pick the corresponding items up and just put them in your hand and try and sort of become one with that soldier. There we go. So I'll just pick one of these. Just pick one of those, that's it, at random. And take the items that are listed at the bottom and just hold on to them. Okay, that's brilliant. Now, what I would like you to do, uh, I'd like you to concentrate on that soldier. Now, what I'm going to start to tell you about that soldier is I'm going to start to tell you, uh, I'm going to just pick up on his, on his status to, to start with. I feel that, um, that that soldier was, he was reported missing in action. He wasn't actually killed in action, he was reported missing in action. He was reported missing in action in... Hmm, it would be the... Oh, really, really concentrate for me now. Concentrate on the time when he would be, when he would have been reported missing in action. It was a summer time. It was a summer time of 1916. All right. You are. A. Let's have a think about this now. He was a. He was a lance corporal. He just, by actual fact, I'm getting the feeling he'd just been promoted. He'd not been promoted many weeks before from. Um, from private to Lance Corporal. Um, what I'm going to try and do now, I'd like you to concentrate on that serviceman's, let's have a go at his date of birth. I would say his date of birth is pretty much the end of, I mean the end of the month, it was the end, sometime at the end of April, 18... 1892, would it have been the 27th of April? 1892. Of April 1992? Yes. Um, now, really, really going to test myself here. I'm going to try and tell you his service number. Uh, would his service number have been 2, 7, Five, four, one. No. Bang on. Absolutely. Bang on. Bang on. That's excellent. That's excellent. It is excellent. What I'm going to try and do now, I am going to try. I'd like to concentrate on his name. He was an Irishman. He was born in Ireland and his name was, was it Albert Quinn? It was Albert Quinn, yes. 
That's wonderful. Lovely. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Flipping neck. And they're all different? They are all different. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you.